after someone has the surgery, uh, how much rest time is there before they might come see you? And then when they get to you, there's obviously work to be done. So let's just also touch on that. So I have a lot of experience with uh, total knee replacements. Um, it's one of actually one of my passions. Um, I work a lot with um, uh, at our clinic with total knee replacements, and, and we have a good um, working relationship with our group of, of physicians. Um, so usually the the way the process works, um, patients will will have surgery, um, and they'll have the replacement. They'll usually actually be sent home um, the same day from the hospital. Wow. Um, and usually they're in to see me within a couple of days. Okay. Okay. The 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 idea uh, behind that is we want to get the patient. Um, um, into physical therapy or skilled uh, rehab as quickly as possible to right. get moving as quickly as possible. So a patient will come in, um, and obviously this is one of the most rewarding aspects of, of, of my job, is I have patients coming in um, basically in a wheelchair and not being able to do much and, and be able to see them through the entire um, process and, and be able to leave um, you know, symptom free and back to everything that they're, that they're doing. Obviously when they do get back to me, um, or when they first get to me, I'm sorry, um, they're in a lot of pain, um, they're not sure. really able to move the knee um, it's a very traumatic surgery, obviously, and there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, it's a tedious um, kind of process, um, but yeah. I, I assure you know patients out there that are, that are having issues with arthritis, the outcomes um, are very, very, very good these days, um, and patients are able to get back to, to all the things that they'd like to get back to.